Giants Nation, hold on to your hats because we've got breaking news that has the entire NFL buzzing. A key figure in our squad has officially been released, and the comments surrounding his departure are igniting a firestorm of opinions. Was his farewell a true reflection of his time here, or just an excuse for a lackluster performance? We're unpacking the backlash and what it means for the organization moving forward. Make sure to subscribe and like this video so you never miss an update on our journey. Daniel Jones is no longer a New York Giant. That's right, folks. The team has officially let him go, and it's been a whirlwind of emotions ever since. Just days before his release, Jones delivered what felt like a heartfelt farewell, thanking the organization and acknowledging his struggles. But then, ESPN's Elle Duncan came out swinging with her criticism. She questioned whether he had that speech saved since 2020. I mean, come on, the man just lost his job, and instead of showing a little respect, she goes for the jugular. Duncan's comments about how he should be apologizing for the $108 million contract and comparing him to Brock Purdy as a backup? That's just low. Pat Hanlon, the Giants VP of Communications, fired back, calling it incomprehensible. And can we blame him? The Giants organization has had its ups and downs, but they show Jones respect after years of hard work. Meanwhile, Stephen A. Smith decided to chime in, telling the Giants to shut up. Now, I can't say I disagree with him completely. Yes, the Giants have had a rough patch since their last Super Bowl, but calling them out like that, that's a bit much. What's the real story here? The Giants are looking to move forward, and they're in a position where they need to find their next franchise quarterback. The question is, who will that be? They've got their eyes on potential college stars, but can they really find someone to fill those big shoes? I'm personally torn. Are they making the right decision by moving on from Jones? It's a gamble. And let's face it, the pressure is mounting. As we head into this next game against the Buccaneers, I can't help but wonder how this will shake out. Are you believing in this new direction? I, for one, am cautiously optimistic, but also a bit anxious. It's a pivotal moment for the Giants, and I want to know what you think. Do you believe this was the best decision for the organization? I honestly feel divided on it. So what do you all think? I want to hear your thoughts, frustrations, and expectations in the comments below. Don't forget to like and share this video, and make sure to subscribe to the channel so you never miss an update. And hey, hit that notification bell to stay in the loop with everything Giants.